Hello, welcome to the All or Nothing podcast. Our official sponsors are KR Couriers and Transport Limited. This is a North West based courier company delivering all across the UK. They can assist in home moves and removals to large, heavy and bulky items, collections and drop-offs. Fast, safe and reliable deliveries. Please get in touch for a free quote. You'll find all the information within the description. Thank you. Hello everyone, hope we're all good. Big shout out to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Not On Podcast with myself, Billy Moore. Just going to head into Rill and check out Rill Skid Row. I'm just in real with a few locals who are staying at this Sand Beach hostel at the moment. They've been telling me this part of Rill is actually called Skid Row. Tell us a little bit about this area. Well, it's, it's quite it's quite bad that night, yeah, do you know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff going on and that. A lot of police and that go go past and that. It's just like, you know, we, we went out last night, didn't we, Tanika? We didn't feel safe, did we? We went to, we went to the, um, the kebab shop and there was like loads of, there's just loads of, People arguing and that, like, do you know what I mean? And yeah, Paul, you've just got out of park prison, haven't you? Yeah. Right, so yeah. and there's a lot of deaths in there at the moment, isn't he? Ten deaths. You know, you were in a coma for three days. You were telling me yeah, what yeah, happened yeah. there. Uh, so what, what happened was um, I was smoking spice for uh, like when I first came to prison, and um, and then uh, what happened, like you know you spent all your money like you know you don't got anything, so they 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 like you know give you like these mamba challenges things. So you know, if you smoke the whole lot well, in well, one, the challenge, so basically to get your foot, to yeah. Get if you smoke it all in foot. one hit, then you don't have to pay for it. And um, and then next thing I know, I, I smoked it, walked up to my pad, and then I couldn't like I didn't know. I just I don't remember what happened after that. I woke up three days later, and um, the, the screws was all around me, like kept to the bed and that. And uh, they said, "Oh, you've been out for three days, boy." Yeah, I'm like fucking. You know, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, um, yeah, I was uh, in a coma. Um, I had a big tube going down my throat and that. Um, I woke up as well, yeah. And I, I, I was saying to him, yeah, listen, I'm dying for a piss. I need to go for a wee. He said, oh, just do it in your, just do it in your bed, yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm like, mate, are you crazy? I'm not gonna piss myself, yeah. And they're like, mate, just don't worry about it. Just take a piss, yeah. I'm like, mate, I'm going nuts now, yeah. And then they're saying, and then after me going nuts for about five minutes, they said, look down, Paul. And I look down, and there's a calf in my dick in there. I'm like, all right, fair play. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take a piss. <laughs> Someone tried but, to hang himself in, in his cell as well, didn't Oh, they? yeah, yeah. Fucking, um, I woke up one morning, <laughs> and uh, he was an old man as well. And, um, yeah, I woke, I woke wake up, like, and I see it. He's on the fucking next, on the window, and uh, he's hanging there, yeah. Like, the noose isn't properly wrapped around him. Like, I think he did, might have done it for attention, like, but, uh, but you know, yeah, fucking, that this, caught... This, this, that this was in Park Prison. Park Jail, man. Yeah, it's wow. fucking. You know, it's uh, a a, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people are dying, man. Yeah, they, they, you know, um, I think the, the uh, they're going to be taken over by G4S, yeah, because it's um, yeah, in Beirut, they, they keep you locked up 23 hours a day, don't they? You know, yeah, you yeah, you it's fair. Like, yeah, but uh, so what do you think of this area since you've been up? This is this is uh, well, I fucking relapse, to be honest, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, struggling. Yeah. It, it, yeah, 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 I am like, yeah, you know, just... There is, there is a way out if you want out, you know, that don't you, but it's, it's kind of meeting people halfway sometimes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I, I am I am trying, like, yeah. Tanika cries every day. Let me just stick this in on you. Right. So, Tanika, you're 23 years old, yeah. right? You're in a hostel, right? What happened there, girl? Um, we were homeless in Clanded now on West Shore Beach. Something, like, bad happened, and then they moved us here. Yeah. And how's your father here? What's he think of it? Terrible, horrible. So this is like, you said to me before, this is like, real, like, scared wrong. Yeah, but no. Well, look, I wish you all well, to be fair. Thanks for your time. It's OK. So I've just been told a man who's 63 has been living in this tent for two weeks. He's had a couple of heart attacks. His name's Paul. You know, and this is how he's living. On real skid row. You know, these are his friends, and he said, you know, it's sad to see him out here. He hasn't been seen. When was the last time you saw him? Yesterday. Yesterday, he hasn't been seen since. No, he doesn't look, he doesn't look well either. Do you no. Know I mean? No, he's got, got heart problems and that. Yeah, so he's got heart problems, so 
Let's hope he's, um, he turns up okay. Yeah. Oh, what happened there? You've been tasing, did you say? Oh, yeah. So me and my partner had the domestic years ago and, um, and the police came round and uh, all the neighbours were like trying to attack me as well. So I, I got panicked like because uh, I was drunk. And then um, I grabbed the knife here yeah, and um, the police came flying through the, through the... No, I locked the front door and the police came through the back here yeah, and then they chased me up the stairs. No, I ran, ran up the stairs and as I'm halfway up the stairs, they shot me with a taser and I fell flying down. And then I woke up again later in hospital. I can't remember how long, but uh, I woke up yeah, and there was no skull in my head here. Yeah. It was like... Like de no, it was dead fucking, was it like? It was dead squishy like. You had, you had like half the head? Yeah, the, yeah ho half of my skull was disappeared for about three months or something. Yeah. The officer, the officer yeah. that yeah. retired, he never got any compensation on Yeah, he, got, he suspended he himself yeah. like, yeah. Because, you know, he, he know he'd done wrong like, yeah. You're not allowed to take And then, yeah, fucking... Um, oh, and you were? High ground? High ground. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, because you, did you fall? Yeah, yeah. well, like flying backwards, yeah. And our floor at home was like tiles, like, so... It was hard floor, yeah, so I smashed my head on the, on the floor and, um, yeah, fucking nearly yeah, died, yeah. You've yeah. been through the war, you haven't, you yeah. had seizures. Fucking, I have, mate, you yeah. know, I you have. You've seizures all the time, don't you, Paul? You're prone to seizures. Mate, I have, yeah. Yeah, I've had a few seizures as well in my past, like, yeah. Um, Struggled with you, have <laughs> Yeah, I know, mate, I know. Thanks for your time, Paul. Oh, no, yeah. thank you. Let's go from good to shit. Go from good to shit. Yeah. So, what was good about it in the beginning? The sun centre, everything. Sun centre, the sun centre. I remember that as a kid, yeah. Uh, sea life centre's closed down. Sea life centre. That's all still gone. Still gone. Still gone. <laughs> Donkeys on the beach. Yeah, man, it's gone to shit. You need to fire from the fucking pond down there. I'm just going for it there. Yeah, I know. What's the point in that? So there you go. Fucking real in 40 years, go to the shit. <laughs> Thank you. You to put the fire and move the fire and put a fucking business ball there and he's a slap. <laughs> That's heavy, lad. <laughs> Thanks. You are right. Oh my. Oh, my. This stone laid by Stanley Howard Burton in 1930. This stone laid by Raymond Montague Burton in 1930. Okay. So one size it's Yakta. CEX is the same as sex. A couple of weeks ago. What he says. Can't say much about what happened, but yes, someone did try to break in. Terrible it was. Terrible. Took a police station five game. They did. Pull a wheelie, lad. No, what right. A little bit of an anonymous gym, yeah. So this is one of the local gyms. Yeah. But yeah, it's old school, isn't it? I like all this. Just what you need. 
None of those fancy Jay-Z sports gyms, just one of these little gaffs. Rail is just a building site, look at it. There's no prom. Nothing. The Sand Beach and the Westminster Hotel are now, you know, housing homeless. I've just been told at Sand Beach Hotel. You know, there's a few rooms in there that are being partitioned off. And they threw all kinds in there. Get the numbers up, get the money in. But once again, thanks for watching and take care.